EB-5 Investment Report Magazine, one of the nation's leading EB-5 resources and recipient of the 2012 EB-5 Media Service Provider of the Year Award, is partnering with the Innovation Economy Connect. Their goal is to provide city administrators, regional centers, attorneys, service providers, investors, and stakeholders with direct access to high-grow companies, manufacturers, developers, and entrepreneurs at the upcoming Innovation Economy Expo. Hello, and welcome to this edition of EB-5 Investment Report Magazine. I'm your host, Shelley Brumbaugh. Today, we are joined by Aaron Knox, President of Innovation Economy Connect Incorporated, part of the Innovation Economy family of companies, and Dwight Cromie, EB-5 Investment Reports Editor. We're going to be talking about the upcoming Innovation Economy Expo, which will be held on May 9th, 2013 at the Ontario Convention Center in Southern California. Innovation Economy Expo is a global community of business stakeholders coming together to create high growth business opportunities by exchanging knowledge and ideas, creating projects, building teams, and sharing international commercialization resources and ideas. Welcome, gentlemen. Aaron, can you tell us about the mission of this event from your perspective? Well, thank you, Shelley. It, it's really quite simple. Innovation Economy Expo uh, is bringing innovators, entrepreneurs, investors, service providers, and it's important that we also include education and, and uh, policymakers into the mix so that we have a holistic approach to creating high growth business. Uh, high growth business is really where the vast majority of new wealth, new jobs, and new prosperity are created. So our focus is helping those who are trying to create high growth business be successful. Dwight, can you please explain to us why EB-5 Investment Report got involved with this event? Well, I've known Aaron for years now, and when he approached me with his expo, I thought it was a perfect fit because of high growth companies and, and economic growth to the EB-5 program. Uh, those who know about the EB-5 program, it's, it's an investment in this country, and um, we're working with a variety of uh, EB-5 regional centers locally that are creating jobs in this region and, and actually across the country. So the EB-5 program works perfect for introducing uh, potential investors to high growth companies, developers, and, and city officials. It was just a, a perfect fit with his program. Aaron, can you tell us more about who will be attending this event and why? Well, it really is a stakeholder-driven event. It's, it's, it's a crowd-driven event. So it's stakeholders representing literally the spectrum of the commercialization process. Everybody from, hey, I've got a great idea, to a successful business. And so it, uh, we start with a global perspective. The International Commercialization Alliance is uh, now on board with us. Uh, they're an international consortium representing members in 18 countries. Uh, CDEC is uh, holding their 19th annual World Trade Conference inside Innovation Economy Expo. Uh, educators, we have uh, over 11 colleges and universities on board with us so far, and we're still several months out from the event. So there's a, there's a lot of people from sole proprietors to large international organizations. Um, it's really coming together well. Dwight, I understand that our magazine will be hosting two separate breakout sessions. Can you go into detail about these? Yeah, that was one of the reasons we, we got involved in this is that Aaron was going to allow us to actually introduce our program to some of the potential um, investors, some of the uh, uh, high growth companies. Our first session is going to be an educational session for those city officials, um, EB-5 regional centers and developers who want to learn how to work together, how to take advantage of the EB-5 program. So we're bringing in county representatives a successful uh, CEO of a regional center and um, uh, a mayor of one of the local cities to talk about how they've worked together to really take advantage of the EB-5 program, grow business within their city, and create jobs, which is what we're all about in this whole event is to create jobs. The second breakout session is really targeted to those emerging companies, to those high growth companies, who are potentially looking for investors and haven't been able to find either an angel investor or the bank has turned them down. Um, we're going to try to show them how they can look at direct EB-5 funds to grow their business, whether they're a manufacturer, a uh, computer company, uh, again, a high growth company. Teach them how what they can do. And some of our panelists 
Um, one is a regional uh, EB-5 consultant. Another panelist is a uh, woman from China who has really used EB-5 funds creatively. Dwight, can you tell us who those panelists are? Yes. The, the, uh, in the first panel of discussion working with cities, we've brought time Tom Freeman, the Riverside County Commissioner of Foreign Trade, who is really leading the EB-5 push, not only in this county, but actually in the state. Really, really understands the program, international trade, top in his field. We're also bringing uh, Al Rattan, the CEO of USA Continental Regional Center. He's got a variety of EB-5 projects going on in Riverside County. One of his projects was a very successful uh, medical center in the city of Marietta, which is bringing dozens, if not hundreds, of high-tech, high-paying jobs to the city of Marietta. The program has been funded, it's completely successful, and they've got three or four other projects they're currently working on. So he really understands the program, and he's worked closely with the county and the city. We're also hopefully bringing in Mayor Rick Gibbs with the city of Murrieta to talk from a city's perspective. How beneficial has the program been to the city? How did they work together? Um, talk about their trips to China and, and how they made the program work for their city. The second panel is we're hopefully bringing in Brian Su, uh, a consultant for the EB-5 program. He's probably the leading consultant in the EB-5 field. Um, he puts on seminars all over the world. In fact, he's holding a seminar in Shanghai, China in March that is probably the largest EB-5 event in the world. Um, also, we're going to bring in Ching Lu, who is the CEO of a regional center here in Riverside. She also owns a solar manufacturing company, and the way that she has creatively used EB-5 funds is phenomenal, using the RIMS program. So for those people who really want to understand the program or look at alternative funding, it, this is an event they need to be at. Aaron, why is the event so important for this region? Well, I think it's important for a lot of reasons. One, we're talking about high growth businesses. And when you have a discussion about high growth business, that's a conversation that evolves into an international discussion pretty quickly. And that one component piece or another is either going to come from or go to another country. But regardless, an entrepreneur or an innovator has to be somewhere. So even though we're talking about a global initiative, it's a very regional approach. So I think it's important. Uh, inland Southern California has uh, felt the effects of this recession probably more so than other regions around the, the country. So I think it's important that we do it here. And another thing that I, I believe is important is every indicator that we've seen points to what will prove to be a global business startup boom. And so anything we can do to help position not only our region, but the stakeholders within our region and the stakeholders of high growth business, anything that we can do to help position those stakeholders and help increase their probability of success, I think is a benefit. Um, you know, economic development at its very essence is business development. The conversation in economic development has evolved from how do we plan, finance, and build infrastructure to how do we create high growth businesses. And I believe we're right in front of that. Dwight, how important is the EB-5 program to this event? Well, not just to this event, but this region. Um, if you understand the EB-5 program, there's been nearly $3 billion investment made in this country by foreign investment or foreign investors. But of the some 250 or 260 regional centers nationwide, this region is host to nearly one-fifth of those regions, regional centers. So we're, in a sense, the, we're the EB-5 central of the program, or this county is. So again, like Aaron was saying, economic growth is vital to this region. EB-5 is a major contributor to growth in this region. And uh, the EB-5 program is expanding and growing on a daily basis, and we really need to take advantage of it and make it work. But what makes this event important to the EB-5 program is we want to see attorneys, uh, immigration attorneys, we want to see regional centers, we want to see investors there, we'd like to see developers. All these people can benefit from this expo because they'll get that one-on-one -on -one chance to meet with other individuals. They'll get that face-to-face -face time. 
to be able to network with the people that can potentially help them grow their business or expand their business or their city. What do the two of you hope will come from this event? Aaron, can we start with you? Well, sure. I mean, at, 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 at its core, I think our, our cause is quite simple. Um, it's to advance the economic and social benefits of high growth business success. So my hope is that this is the first step in creating a, a crowd-driven global collaboration platform to help perpetuate the success of high growth business. To my understanding, our viewers can receive up to a $100 discount to this event. Is that true? That's correct. Through our uh, relationship or strategic partnership with Innovation Economy Connect, we've been able to offer our clients a $100 discount to this event. All they need to do is use our discount code. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for taking the time to speak to me, and You're I welcome. hope this event goes well. Thank you. The EB-5 Visa Investment Program raised nearly $2.5 billion in foreign investment in this country, which represents a potential of over 50,000 new American jobs. These investments are providing business and cities with a great deal of potential for economic growth. There is more than 250 EB-5 regional centers nationwide, and over one-fifth reside in the inland Southern California region. The Innovation Economy Expo will provide you with the ability to meet face-to-face -face with the people you need to know. It will also help you learn about the EB-5 program, pitch ideas, or see if the EB-5 program is right for you, your business, or city. The Innovation Economy Expo will provide all the tools necessary for this kind of success. If you want to register for the Expo and take advantage of the EB-5 investment report, discount, simply click on the Expo logo below and enter the discount code EB5IEXPO. I'm Shelly Brumbaugh and I want to thank you for watching this edition of EB5 Investment Report Magazine.